This video I want to talk about uh, whether or not a manager, let's say a product manager or a project manager or even an entrepreneur needs to understand how algorithms work, particularly artificial intelligence algorithms and why. So I want to get started with the story, a story of mine. Uh, many years ago, uh, I would say seven, eight years ago, I was working for a very large financial firm. It was an internship and uh, this is really one of the biggest, biggest asset management in the world with over a trillion dollar under management. And I was working in analyzing, you know, the portfolio, the data and a number of things. It was a hybrid uh, business technology position. And I remember that I went to basically a meeting with the CEO and the question came up, uh, why don't we automate the way of investing? At that time, deep learning didn't exist, uh, at least didn't exist uh, in, in for the masses. When we made this uh, question, it was like, no, 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 no. We're never going to automate. And why was that? Because there were too many risks to uh, put money, especially that amount of money that are in the trillions, under these supervisions or machines. Even if machines could do a pretty good job, but there was no way that uh, management would have ever trusted this. Now, what we can learn uh, from these situations and what uh, happens today. So today we know that there are various branches of machine learning and the ones that were available at the time, they're still available. Uh, we also know that deep learning has become the flagship of what we call artificial intelligence. And it's primarily based on this concept of neural networks. And therefore, uh, it is more complex in the sense that it is more difficult to understand what's happening inside the deep learning. Therefore, if as a manager you don't know what's happening, particularly you don't understand for example, how the layers get activated, what it means, what the most internal layers are doing, when a node gets activated and how the deep learning algorithms is representing a certain concept or certain knowledge. You will have a big problem to explain this to whoever is on top of you and has to make decisions or whoever are the stakeholders and have to be, make decisions. And particularly companies always worry about different type of things, but mostly financial liability, legal liability, and then, this is a very important one, it is always like everybody career at stake. Like most managers are risk averse, why? Because they've reached the point, they make a lot of money, why they should lose their job? But this is the number one way of thinking in corporate America list. So what you can do in this situation? Well, of course, I believe it should get a little bit more technical, trying to understand more what's going on. Educate. This is very important. Educate in a way that is the simplest possible about what is the benefit of adopting a certain solutions that are based on artificial intelligence and how they're made in certain circumstances. And then identify, this is a really important piece of advice, identify a problem that can be solved by the automation, by the deep learning, if you like, by the machine learning, with the high level of benefit and relatively low level of risk. It is not always possible, but that's usually the recipe that works. High level of benefit, low level of risks. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard, regardless of where you are, but especially if you are in traditional companies, you're gonna face this type of problem. So, recapping, go inside the technology to explain why you would like to use it and what the benefits are. Three, target a problem that you can win big with low risk. Now, if you like to get involved with this, get involved with artificial intelligence as a decision maker, as a solution designer, as somebody that is at the interface between business and technology, and you feel you need to learn more, my course is the right place where you can get not only information, but most importantly, the right mindset. Click on the link and get my course. Thank you very much, and I'll see you the next time.